Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you CM13 running on my Moto X Play. So here we have uh, the app launcher. Your, it's a standard Google Play launcher. It's very smooth. You've got the Google now cards here to the left of your home screen you've got a few things so if I swipe down really fast you get your quick settings here if you swipe down once you just get your notifications you've got your recent apps here you a clear all switch if we dive into the settings quite a few settings we can play with standard Wi-Fi settings in display and lights you've got adaptive brightness live display amb ambient display double tap to sleep and uh, font size control over, over your notification light we've then got themes for me I've only got one theme installed what's the default theme Notifications, just your standard notifications. Lock screen, just your standard stuff. Buttons, so you've got some left handed mode, you've got just a few different things. You can change the volume buttons to wake your phone up. You've got quite a few things you can change in there, gestures and shortcuts. So I've got the ambient display turned on, so if my phone is turned off and I pick my phone up, the display will light up. I've got the double twist, so if I double twist the my wrist, it'll launch the camera, the chop, chop action, to turn on the flashlight. I've not turned on these ones because I don't like the look of them. The battery life is very good. You've got three different battery modes, you've got your battery saver, your balance and then performance if you don't really care about battery life. Security, that's gen generally what you see in Android normally. Memory, that's your RAM, users, system, uh, system profiles. Now you've got some different options that you don't find in stock Android such as status spar. You can choose what you want to see so if we toggle off the Wi-Fi you now see the Wi-Fi logo has disappeared in the notification bar you can choose where you want your clock to be right center left and hidden I've chosen it to be the center because I've come from an iPhone and I like it in, in, in the center brightness control I love that feature where you can just slide your finger along to make the screen brighter or darker. Quick pull down, that's what I've turned on as well. Apps, it tells you the apps are installed. Got your weather settings, storage and USB. I've turned the developer options on. You've got quite a few different options compared. You've got your root access here. To say if you uh, want your root access turned on you can have it turned on all the time apps only adb only or apps and AVD. about phone i'll just show you it's running 6.0.1 which is marshmallow i'm not going to play the game uh, it's synergy mod 13.0.20 and the good thing about Synergy Mod 13 is, of course, split screen multitasking, what is very handy. So, what I was going to to enable the split screen multitasking, you go to settings, you turn on developer options, you scroll down, quite a bit down, and then you come to multi window mode, you need to turn that on. Then if we launch a few apps such as messaging, uh, 
Google Chrome for instance and come out of that and then we, if we go into here you now see this little box here if you click that you can choose your format so if we click there and now you've now got your browser on the bottom it's a bit buggy but if we open a new tab or if we go to a tab I've already got open what's this one here you've now got your two windows open side by side so I can now text and browse the web at the same time this is a bit buggy, it doesn't work with all apps of course but this is a nightly build so it's not meant for your daily driver so do proceed with caution before you install the ROM I've not had any problems with it though this is my main phone, what I'm using all the time if you, if you want more information on installing CM13 I will provide a link down below in the description and yeah that's about it just wanted to make a little video of the features inside of it so I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, like and subscribe to the channel and peace out